Now, the video is so raunchy, we can't watch it over in Britain before 10 p.m. Really? Yeah. Wow. I know, it's so raunchy. And is it true things were cut out of there? Um, some specific shots were cut out, yes. But what were they? Because, I mean, there's, like, people in gimp masks, there's people being whipped. I can't tell you. Is it that bad that, that you, you cut it out, that you can't even tell me on chatty? I mean, that, what? It wasn't that spanking, bad, but it was spanking. pretty bad, yeah. There's a car there. Was it, like, dogging? <laughs> Not dogging. How can I explain dogging? <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, you know... You go to a car park in a car, uh -huh. and if you like someone in the other car, you sort of flash your lights twice, <laughs> and then you invite that person into your car. No! Yeah! No! That's not what that is. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know. I saw you there. You better work, bitch. And then this no! car turns up. I don't know. No, I'm, I'm there's innocent. Only, there's only three of those cars in America. There's only three, so we thought it would be really special to have this car come to the shoot oh. because it's only they're very rare. Oh my God! I tell you, if he flashed his lights in the car park, I'd get in with that car. <laughs> Even if he was a minger, I'd be in that car. Right, <laughs> <laughs> <Cry>, bitch. <laughs> well, listen, I know on stage you were on about scones and scones. Yeah. <gasps> oh no! Oh. Scones in the house. <laughs> Put these here. Now, you know, in England, yeah. some people say you put the jam first, right. but then there's other people that say you put the cream first and then the jam first. Everyone else has got a life. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, what would you, would you like? I mean, you don't have to eat it. Maybe have a nibble. Well, make one for me, darling. Yeah, go on then, love. <laughs> oh, is this erotic for you? <laughs> <laughs> Is it butter? Yeah, well, no, it's got cream, clotted cream. Cottage? Clotted, clotted. <laughs> clotting? It's like cream that's been around for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> In England, we eat this shit. <laughs> it's a delicacy. Okay, let me see. It's oh, nice. Really? <laughs> I really like that. We don't see you coming out of a club, do we, like that? You know, uh, you know, we're like, yeah. you know, sit looking up your skirt and all that. <laughs> now, I've been looking at some of your twit pics. Oh, really? And you love antiques. I do. When you're over here again, you should pull a sickie and watch Dickinson's Real Deal. <laughs> <laughs> There's this man here, David Dickinson. Wow. Yeah, and you Americans love royalty. He's called the Duke, yeah? Excellent. People bring antique slash tat. <laughs> and he sits there and he goes, he goes to go, how, how much money will I have for it? And so he gets out money. Have you seen Dickinson's Real Deal? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> well, choose something and then I can reenact it. Pick anything here and then put it there and I'll pretend it's the antique. Um, should I get the... That's too heavy. Um, you don't want to get that. Okay. Pick something like, what, what, if you're not like antique, what, what, what tickles your fancy here? What would you like? Um, birds. Birds. Can I get the birds? Oh, of course you can. Okay. Not that, that's my granddad's ashes. And it's... <laughs> 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Put it there next to the Bombay okay. mix. So there you go. So you go, oh, I'm selling this. And he'll go, I'm selling this. <laughs> You're catching on. So he comes out, oh, what's going on here like that? Just like that? Just like Excellent. that. Excellent. Mm, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you 20. 40. 60, that's your lot. And you go, no, I want more. No, I want more. <laughs> Eighty? A hundred, that's your lot. No, I want more. No, you don't. You don't want more. Yes, I... Am you, I, uh, I am satisfied uh, with that price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get the money. It's amazing. Thank you. I put this back. That's hundred quid, love. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> National treasure, love. What's that mean, exactly? Well, 
British people take you to their bosom. Do I get to be knighted? Yes, you become Dame Katy Perry Brand the Fourth. Oh. <laughs> there were others before me. I, I don't know why. I, I don't know why I said the Fourth, but Thank I. You. <laughs> You're so crazy. Yeah. I think the activity is literally in there. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you love it over here, don't you? Yeah. You're a right old anglophile, isn't it? <laughs> no, you are, no, that's not what, no, anglophile, it's not like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I won't put you on a list or a register. Yeah, no, it's good, good. <laughs> You've even been tweeting about our scones. <laughs> now, you know yes. what, we had Nicki Minaj on uh -huh. last series, and she, you know, lovely Nicki, she was raving about scones. What is it about scones mm. that just uh, tickles your fancy? I mean, they're kind of perfect. Yeah. There's like perfect little pieces yeah. of greatness. <laughs> you know, <laughs> scones, the clotted cream. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. And a little bit of jam. Yeah. Now, I, now there's, a, there's, a, there's different ways to do the scone, right? Yeah, yeah. Is it regional? Is it, is it based on, well, is it like clotted cream first and then the jam and then there's? Well, there's Cornwall and there's Devon, yeah. And they sort of kick off, in it? And like Devon says, it's like... Okay, so what is that? What is that? That's a county. Okay, got it. Yeah. So like a big old bit at the end of like England called Cornwall. Mm. And then there's another bit called Devon. And then they put, they put clotted cream on first and then jam. And then Devon's like, no. Why am I making out? It's all like, no, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, it's not like that at all. <laughs> and then they go... Oh, De Devon's like Compton. Yeah, oh my God, yeah. Okay. Devon till I die. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they all kick off. But you know what everyone's doing now? Hash scones. <laughs> Just me then. Okay. <laughs> position. Like that doesn't look comfortable at all. I'm wondering what I was doing. That like, was, oh, that all my clothes have fallen off. Sad face. <laughs> <laughs> now I'd have probably listened to your album. I love it. I was expecting, and I don't sound this patronised, but I was expecting like a kiddie album. Do you know what I mean? But it's really spunky. Spunky. <laughs> it is. It's really got a groove going on. Oh well, thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate that. Now, is it true? Spunky. spunky. What does that even mean? <laughs> Just means full of spunk and like. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> That's a good... I'm taking that as a good thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's very good, yeah. It's funky, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say it on other chat shows, maybe, that we're in the daytime, but I'm full of spunk. Do <laughs> you not say that. Um, <laughs> what can I get you to drink? Wow, um... Lemoncello. Lemoncello. Wow. Gamers pear cider. Wow. Mmm, strawberries and cream. So far, every one of these have gotten friends of mine arrested. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'd oh. like to violate my parole with <laughs> this one. I yeah, 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 let's, let's have it. No, let me get you a... Oh, boy. oh shit, where's the old yeah. room? <laughs> oh, it's here. Yeah. Straight from the bottle, if you want. Really? Oh, oh, you are class in a yes, glass. Yes, thank you. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome to Britain. Now, do you like it here, Britain? Oh, that's nice. Is I do. It? I like it with more and more with every sip. <laughs> <laughs> now, you don't have to like. Do you like it, or do you think it's crap? Because we think it's crap. Really? <laughs> Overpriced on it, so yeah. wet, miserable. Yeah. Uh, I'm from Vancouver, Canada, which is uh, wetter and probably more miserable in the winter. But uh, <laughs> see, I love it. I love coming here. Yeah, I'm yeah. Here all the time. It's fantastic. Now, you're on the buses over here, modelling for M&S. Yes, I, yes, I am. Looking fine, can Thank I say? You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is that Blue Harbour? This, this is actually, this is an M&S suit. Yeah. yeah. I, I love their stuff, yeah. So it's actually not a, a facade. I'm actually into no, what I'm modelling. No, I'm no. Because I'm yeah. the body of their uh, family-sized cottage pie. <laughs> <laughs> Dandelion and Bird. Oh, OK. Yeah. Oh, I knew I'd win you over. Jesus, what is this? Oh, i tell you God. what, let's make a little cocktail, yeah? What about oh, Voddy my. with a bit of Dandelion and Burdock in the top? Voddy? <laughs> Lovely. Voddy. That's what we call it over here, Voddy. fantastic, love. Oh, oh, look at you, your <laughs> old British accent. There you go. Oh, God, what is this? Yeah, Jesus let's get God. hammered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Right, that's great. Yeah. The yeah. purple stuff. It's I, in the I, 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 oh, right, sorry, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, right. thank you. Yeah, I you thought you were just going for the straight body. Oh, no. 
I don't do any of his stuff. <laughs> but they're both giants of the comedy world. You couldn't write it. It's <laughs> Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant. <laughs> Have you back. And that welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. Yes. Yeah, Am I like... in the right place? Oh, yeah. So, anywhere yeah, you happy want. Happy there? Now. All right. Good. All right. Yeah, of course you are. It's Alan Carr. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a drink? Oh, oh what is it, though? <laughs> is it, this is like a challenge, isn't it? <laughs> is that champagne? <laughs> yeah. No, what is it? <laughs> Lady, sparkling Perry. Yeah, that's, that's Butch. Um, what else have we got? <laughs> um, Leapfrau milk. Oh, you're so common. <laughs> Goldschlager. What's that? <laughs> Cinnamon schnapps. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. <laughs> I, know, I, know. I just got hit by a tooth. Sorry. <laughs> well, what do you... Have a pink lady. What do you like? Oh, I, 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 I would love a pink lady. Yeah, pink lady. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> really. <Not> you. <laughs> Any lady would be fine. <laughs> there you go. Oh, thank you. Is that for him? You know, you've lost a lot of weight. Thank you. How Done it. Tell me a secret. Steroids and AIDS. They're definitely cut that. <laughs> Particularly if you say where you got the AIDS from. <laughs> <laughs> from a glass uh, of pink lady. Yeah, they cut it in. They cut it in. A uh, lots of work, Alan. <laughs> <honey. laughs> Fat burning and lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> No, how really have you? Have you been eating healthily? Um, yeah, I've been working out. I've been, um, oh. yeah, trying to... Uh, I suppose I hit that age. Like, um, I got fatter, steadily fatter, from about 29 to about 48, and I thought, this is... It's never going to end. I'm going to yeah. burst. Yeah. If I keep, if I keep going yeah. up, I did a graph. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I just thought, no, that's enough is enough. Oh. Was you worried about his weight gain? I was worried about him losing weight if I'm honest, because yeah. I've always thought that the fatter he is, the funnier he is. <laughs> and, you know, I've very much... I've, yeah. You know, I've hitched my wagon to this particular fat horse. And, um, <laughs> and, and I, um... You know, and... See, I would like to just milk him for, say, another ten years, and then yeah, he could have a massive yeah. heart attack, but by that time... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 When, when he says milk me, that's not an invention. <laughs> <laughs> um, he doesn't, he's never milked me. Yeah. It's not that sort of relationship. Yeah, clarify that now. Yeah, exactly, you have not yeah. been milked no. by Stephen Merchant. Never, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. About, yeah. Sorry, are we, are we talking about wanking or...? No. Sorry, the I was confused. Stephen, I'm sorry. the tea! Sorry. I'm sorry, I... You've had one sip of pink lady, not... and you get all like that? <laughs> I mean, you always work together. Do you ever go on holiday together? Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Can you imagine that? <laughs> oh, it would be horrible. Just think of the pictures. Me looking pretty cool and sort of tanned. Buff. Now and buff. buff, yeah. Buff. And the thing, naked, he looks like one of those baby fish. You can actually see through his body. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mate. Yeah. 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 And yeah. not everything is in proportion. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a letdown. Yeah, oh. it's a bit of a letdown. <laughs> oh. Mine's tiny, but you'd expect that, wouldn't you? I know, but sure. mine's it's yours is embarrassing. Yeah. No, it's oh, it's Christ. humiliating. And it's uh it's annoying because every you know, I mean I've got the glasses, you know, like you, the eyesight's not working, got the bad skin, the asthma. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like give me a break somewhere along the line. <laughs> Oh, but no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, God. How's yours? What's the situation down there? Oh, it's... It's, it's, a, well, it's, it's a bit like a slug on two cherry tomatoes. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. I read somewhere that you've only got six friends. Is that true? <laughs> no, uh, basically, I'm not surprised. No, <laughs> are you, are you <laughs> talking to him? No, my point was that I've kept my sort of old friends. I, I you know, I, um... Uh, it was a do like that. I don't really do this to be popular. You know, you've got your, if you've got well, your friends. Well, that's working. <laughs> 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 no, if you've got your friends, it doesn't matter because yeah. people think they know you, but you don't. If you keep worrying about 
how you come across. That's yeah. your that's your reputation, but your character is what you really are. And I just said, yeah. you know, all you need is six good friends, and I, and yeah. I believe that. I think that's all you you know really need. Yeah. Real real close friends. That's all you need. Would you consider him in one of your friends? Is he one yeah. of the six? Seventh. The seventh. <laughs> To be honest, I because I got about two hundred friends, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and um, and I, you know, and I uh, mostly superficial. And uh, <laughs> I had a party recently, my birthday party. I did invite Ricky, thirty fifth birthday party, and I said, um, do, you, "Do you remember I did invite you? I seem to remember." Yeah, you still he still invites me. Still invites. He's never turned up to any of my parties. He's oh. never come to my house. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Right. Look, right. the point is this, right? He started inviting me to parties when we first met. But when we first met, he was 22 and I was 35. So he's just like discovering hip hop and parties, and I'm discovering I've got a favourite chair. So of course I said, <laughs> It's a bit weird, a middle aged man hanging around with a gangly 22 yeah. year old. He looked about 10 yeah. as well, <laughs> like a bean pole it with did make glass. He looked like a paedophile when we went walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. Particularly when you were holding my hand. <laughs> I was scared of London when I first moved to London. You, you held your hand because you were scared of London. I was London. scared of London. I Terrible. didn't hold his fucking hand, of course I didn't. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, of course, imagine that! <laughs> he meets me. I, I go, come on, it's 22! <laughs> <laughs> know the ins and outs of your relationship. Well, we actually met when I offered him a job. On XFM, I went to work for this local radio station and they said, oh, you can have an assistant, and um, his was a CV at first. It was Top of the pile. Definitely, yeah. yeah, and I went, yeah, that'll do. But he was sort of the sensible one, cos I was doing this job and I was sort of blagging it. I was a bit of a slob. Um, uh... I mean, you were. <laughs> <laughs> no, what better now, haven't I? Um, and uh, when we were right in the office, He'd often sort of wake me up and say, come on, we've got to work. And um, I remember very often in the BBC canteen, he'd say, Rick, don't have three jumbo sausages, you'll fall asleep again. <laughs> not, yeah. That's not a partner, that's a carer. Exactly. <laughs> 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 but I do have to monitor him. I'm like, you know, I am like a carer in that way. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. he, he, will, he won't eat properly. Like, when we, you remember when we were at the Golden Globes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> well, we were on the way there. We are in a stretch limousine. Oh, nice. On the way to the Golden Globes. It's a pretty glamorous affair because the movie stars are there as well. Yeah. And uh, we're there, we're all tucked up, you know, looking good, you know. And uh, he goes, I'm feeling peckish. And I was furious with him because I told him to eat before we came out. Do you know what I mean? I, I said yeah, to him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we're in true. the... He makes the limousine pull yeah. over yeah. into, like, a petrol station. <laughs> right? <laughs> um... <laughs> And he goes inside he, to get something to eat. He comes back with a giant bag of what they call Cheetos or Cheetos. They're yeah. like they're like what's Cheesy what's like... Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's just eating a big bag Not of what's it? So... Orange dust was... all over his face. <gasps> but I didn't know. <laughs> Listen, it was really and horrible because the fingers as it well. Was, don't they you? were literally they were glowing tongue. orange. My tongue <laughs> and also they were all in my teeth. It was just orange. And so we stopped and they said we're getting out now. And I went oh my god. And I was I was rubbing my teeth like that. I was putting my hand in the ice bucket with a champagne. Yeah. In the car, right? And I was trying to get it all off, right? I had a bit of tissue trying to clean <laughs> it off his face. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, he got yeah. on it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just horrible. And um, and in front of us were the desperate housewives. Desperate housewives were getting up. There's no way that was going on in that car. <laughs> no. no <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Terry Hatcher is picking a bit of twiglet out of <laughs> even the <laughs> ball his teeth. Although they were orange all over. They were all yeah. orange. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Cemetery Junction, which is out yeah. on DVD later yes. this month. It's yeah. about you uh, growing up in... Yeah, it's... No, 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 it's not about you, it's sort no, of... No, no, everything you letter, do is, is sort of semi-autobiographical, yeah, 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 yeah. you know. Uh, um, but um, I suppose it is a bit of a love letter to England, and um, yeah. uh, it, it's, it's uh, you know, our memories of what it was like growing up in a, in a small sort of working-class town, and, and, you know, the, the family members are sort of... I mean, the mum and the nan is based yeah. on my mum and nan, and they became the same person anyway. Yeah. It was just like that lineage. And um, there's a line in it that my mum said to me um, when I was 18. I said, I'm going to France, just for the day it was. And um, she went, what do you want to go there for? There's parts of Reading you ain't seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so sweet. Yeah. But I like them, they just, they just speak what's on their mind. They say, yeah. I remember I went to university and I came back and I opened the door, mum opened the door and she went, oh, bloody hell, Rick, you're in half fat. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, it's awful. I know, isn't it? yeah, yeah. But I, I, I like that. I like that sort of that sweet sort of straight talking honesty. And yeah. um, I suppose we left that veil of irony behind that we had with the office. This was, yeah, it's you know, more straight down the line 
you know, it's dramatic, I think. It's sort of, we describe it as like a feel-good drama. There is humour in there, and there's laughs in it, but yeah. also we wanted to, you know, hopefully to make it quite moving, in a way, you know, and, uh, and maybe even bring a tear to the eye. I don't know if it did towards the end Oh, for you. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was lovely. quite sweet, you, I think. Yeah, well, I won't yeah. say what at the end, but, yeah. We've got a clip from Cemetery Junction. <laughs> they, uh... I remember that. I remember that day. We shot that um, just outside, I think it was Shepperton or Pinewood, was it? Mm. The, the studio. But it was on a public highway. We had to put a billboard up. So every now and again, this like women with children would just walk past and look at it oh. and go, What's going on here? And I'd hide and they'd say, It's just a film. They go, Who's in the film? They go, I Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I know. No, how can that is a knob gobbler. <laughs> <laughs> it's a subtle film. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like people don't draw. Cock and balls as graffiti anymore, do they? I tell, I, this um, reminds me of when I was a kid. It came from when I was about um, uh, 14 or 15. I remember we were in French class. And um, do you ever do sort of thing where you used to put the headphones on and they'd say something in French, you had to say it back, yeah. right? And the teacher found out that people were just swearing on it and he went mental and he got people out. He's going, I'm sick of this, you don't want to learn. He went, and also these exercise books, look at this. And he goes, you, All right? And he got this kid out, he went, look at that, your exercise book, what's that? And this bloke had drawn a, like a penis with a, like a big, like, <laughs> and he went, what's that? And he went, it's a snail, sir, right? <laughs> and he went, it's not a snail, is it? It's a penis. He went, and what's this? And he'd drawn this uh, classic knob with yeah. bollocks and wings, right? And he went, oh, look, a penis with wings, what's that? And he went, Dicky Bird <laughs> and the <laughs> <Pops. laughs> yeah. Cemetery Junction. It's out at the end of this month on DVD. Yeah. That's brilliant. Thank you, Stephen Merchant, Ricky Gervais. How's it going? Thank you. <laughs> Have you been paintballing? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean, you could bloody dress up. No, honestly, this, this <laughs> makes me nervous dressing up. Pants on. These are my posh ones as well. <laughs> I'm not messing about. Right, let me get you a drink. Come on, let's. Uh, yeah. What do you want, my love? We've got uh, Jeremiah weed, cider brew. Do you like aftershock? I've never had that. Oh, it's nice. It's like an aperitif. <laughs> got a special brew, just special brew. What are you having? I don't even Mariah Carey weren't this bloody fussy. I'm honestly, just, just give me something. I don't normally. I don't. I don't. I don't really. Uh, just, just give us anything, honestly. Have a special, have a special bro. Do you want a glass or just add the tin? I'll have it in a glass. Okay. I get spots when I drink out of cans. <laughs> Here, we've got to talk about your new show. Yeah, go on. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's called The Moan in a Life, and it's you basically trying to find the meaning of life, isn't it? I mean, it's a job. Yeah, so, no, because I don't want to pretend, you know what I mean? It's not like one of them things where it's like, yeah, I'm on a journey and all that. You hear people say that on the telly and it sort of yeah. annoys me. He goes, no, you did it because the money was right. Yeah. <laughs> but the money was right. <laughs> but I'm kind of... I'm, I'm interested in life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We're no, all involved yeah, in it. Yeah. So, um... Is it because you've turned 40 recently? <sighs> no, are you having, like, a midlife crisis? <laughs> no, I've always been old. <laughs> I've got, honest to God, I've always... My mum always said I was an old baby. <laughs> How old are you? Well, I'm 27. <laughs> uh, yeah. Tough paper round. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you're not... You? No, I am... No, I am... I am 37, but I've got one of those faces and looks that when I go 37, people are like, yeah, yeah, I've got 42, 43. No, I'd I have have thought, I'd have thought 41. I thought you were older than me. Fuck off. <laughs> that is so rude. But a good, a good 41. Fuck it, there's nothing good about being the wrong side of 40. <laughs> you honestly think you look younger? Honestly. Honestly? <laughs> If, if, it was a, if it was a competition and someone said, win 200 grand, guess this man's age, yeah. I would not have said below 40. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I don't OK, know. that's fine, I'll just... Uh... <laughs> I guess I'll just pick up the pieces and carry on with my life. Um... <laughs> the series started last week and mm. it uh, concentrated on marriage. Like me, you don't really believe in it either, do you? I don't know what it's all about now. No. Um... What about your wife? 
Yeah. No, I've been with well, her. Go, yeah, girlfriend. She's not. Well, yeah. I don't know yeah, how yeah, to yeah. argue with her. Yeah. She's got um, a ream or something. She's not asked. I've been I've been with her for twenty years, and yeah. everything's good. Do you know what I mean? So what's the point? But women say that, don't they? All women want to. Oh 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 oh. oh. <laughs> They want a ring on the finger. That's why they go looking for it in desserts, don't they, and stuff, when they're like... <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't... I wouldn't... I, I mean, if it's all about the ring and that, and then the, the dress, you know, I don't... She wouldn't look right in it. There's more chance. <laughs> Surely... <laughs> don't, uh, it's all the faff of it, that's all. If you love someone, I think that's great, right? But it's this thing, this big day, the faff. You know, um, the no. money involved. Yeah. It's not only marriage, you're doing an episode on death. It's amazing, that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the thing with this programme. People always go, it's a joke, he's not taking it serious and all that. But every time, everything I'm saying, I believe in, whether, you know, I'm right or wrong or whatever. Yeah. And with death, you know, that isn't, that isn't comedy. There's a, there's a woman dead in a corner. <laughs> Where have you got these from? They're sick. <laughs> We get Jeremy Kyle's cast-offs. <laughs> I mean, the family might watch this on YouTube. Where's the family? Ghana. Ghana? Ghana. I'm big in Ghana. I am. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, though, so they've been... She's been dead for, um... Been dead for about two and a half months. <laughs> it was just a shock. I'd, I've never been to a funeral. No. Um, yeah. And it was my job to sort of do her up, put makeup on her and all that. And, um... Once she's done up, you stick her in the corner of the room. <laughs> Family and friends and that come in to sort of pay the final respects and all that to her. And she, it was this woman who worked on a market. So that's what she did when she was alive. So they yeah. stuck her in front of a table <laughs> with uh, all a clobber on, big thing on her head and all that. Mm. And she was, uh, she's sort of there with a the fruit and veg. <laughs> <laughs> like the staff in Tesco. Yeah. <laughs> But, no, she... And you go in with money mm. and stick money in her hand and that sort of... this sort of. Oh, so, like, she's still alive and working on a stall. <laughs> and it's really nice when you think about how we do it and it's all morbid and we don't like talking about yeah. it and how do we handle it there. People there taking photographs. Oh, um, I don't know about that. I'm telling you, they've got it so right. if this was in Ghana, I could have died and they'd still put me in this seat. <laughs> and I'd still have guests coming on chatting to me. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> On Sunday's show, I can't wait to see this. You're, you're exploring happiness and how people find happiness, and you actually have some plastic surgery done, don't you? Because some people try to find happiness by changing their face. A and lot their of people. Looks. It's in LA yeah. where they all do that, don't they? Yeah. Everyone's sort of having work done. And uh, yeah, I met this bloke called uh, Justin. Yeah. He's had loads of work done. Everything is just had... It's all bit stuck everywhere. I mean, it's Look, fine. that's him there. On the left. <laughs> uh, How old is he? How old is he? I think he's about 76. Say, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, he's not... He's, he's, he's young. Yeah. I can't remember. I think he's, like, in his early 20s. But he's had, like, you know, they're all implants. He's had put in his triceps done. Uh, nose, lips. My God. Arse. Arse done. How can you have your arse He had arse sort of, um... Sort of... <laughs> pumped yeah, out yeah. a little bit. We've actually got a clip. This is a clip of Sandy's show. Uh, this is Carl on his way to the Botox clinic in the moaning of life. Yeah. <laughs> hey. you? No, I don't know. I haven't seen my anus in ages. <laughs> I've never... It's never been in me mind that I worry. No. How's that looking? No. <laughs> you like to moan and you'd say you have a right to moan and everything. But how can I turn that frown upside down? What makes you happy? Surely something makes you smile. The other day, I'll tell you what I was doing the other day. Yeah. Cleaning my cups. <laughs> Do you know, because they stain, don't they, with tea? Yeah, yeah. And uh, you can get this stuff called Milton. It's like a, it's like a bleach that isn't as strong as Domestos. And I, I was in the kitchen for about 45 minutes. But honestly, that for me, it's those little things where I'm away on my own, I'm in the kitchen, Suzanne's happy watching Vera, yeah. I'm just cleaning the cups and you pour it from yeah. one to another. 45 minutes. 
<laughs> now, you're looking at me. Honestly, I know that you're going, what the fuck? Have you ever done it? No. I've never done it. What simple things do you do that you go, this is all right, this is sort of what life's all about? You, you must have something in your life that you go, I look forward to this. Painting a skirting board. <laughs> no. <laughs> so what do you do then? What do you do to darkness? I don't know. Right then. You don't know what you're doing, you're floating about in showbiz land. <laughs> sat there well, at least I'm not bleaching cups. <laughs> well, I pity your cups. Okay, okay I'll tell you what I do that you'll find boring. Go on. But I, enjoy, I watch Tipping Point. <laughs> With Ben Shepherd. <laughs> you see, no, shouldn't share that. <laughs> you see, I don't really like the telly going on before about seven. Cos it's all shit before that. <laughs> <laughs> and why, why is Ben Shepherd coming round watching telly with you? No, he owns Tipping Point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> I'll do it. It's so great to be here. I just love you. And of course, Michelle speaks very highly. Oh, of me. Michelle, Michelle Massage, oh, ladies and yes, gentlemen. Yes. Yes. Oh, I love her. I love her. Well, I love you. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> I've been to have you on my sofa at last. I've wanted you for ages. Really? Yeah, really, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Would you want to drink, love? I mean, sure. I've, got, I've got Diet Coke, I've got Sun yeah. Exotic Tropical, I've got Cranberry. I, I, yeah, I'd love some cranberry and maybe some uh, uh, sparkling water or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't want me to drink because the clothes will come off and I'll make a fool of myself. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say that to them. They want us, they're horny. They're all horny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right, let me get your nice drink. Oh, my yeah. goodness, so you're going to mix it yourself? Yeah! I love we this. We can't afford any Oh, darling, <laughs> darling. Oh, no, I know. It looks oh. delicious. Oh, doesn't it? Yeah. If you've got cystitis, you're in for a drink. <laughs> Is that a, like a urine tract infection? Yeah! Yes, I know it well. <laughs> Probably. It does sound yeah. like a drag queen, doesn't it? I, I, think, I think I've worked with her. <laughs> Sissy Titus. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not nice. That's not nice you've done that. Oh, dear. Yeah. There you go. Look. Well, cheers, big ears. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> you can go off people, you know. <laughs> cheers. Up your bum, no arm down. Absolutely. <laughs> We've got to talk about your show. Yes. RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes. yes. Uh, you know, I, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's what everyone says, isn't it? You rewind, I mean, you, you must have said, you, you're winding it back. Yes, so, yes. Did that just happen? <clears throat> It's amazing. I love it, too. I've always loved drag queens. I'm so happy that True TV is, has brought it to the UK. Yes. It's fabulous, and I'm so excited that everybody here is going to get to meet all of my girls. <laughs> all of my girls. Yes. And yes. look at you. You are on every bus in London. That. I rode you this morning. You did? <laughs> How was I? I, I felt quite sick because I was at the back. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if anyone hasn't watched it, how would you describe it to people? Well, it is a competition reality show where we are looking for the next drag superstar. And we put these kids through uh, challenges that are not unlike my own career, where they, they act and sing and dance and make costumes and stuff. And, uh, you know, and at that point... But really, the, the series is it's all about the tenacity of the human spirit, because queens are some crafty-ass MFs. You know what I yeah, mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's that's what the show is really about. Yeah. And also, the great thing about it is, as well, um, it, this sounds like a cliche, but if you see it, you'll know what I'm saying. Some of these people through drag, I mean, th they've been thrown out the house, they've been made yeah. homeless, yep. uh, they're HIV positive. This is an escape for them. This is the time for them to be themselves. They, they, they almost need it. They it need was, to it was. escape and have a bit of fantasy. Yeah, there is a heart to it. And that's what you, you really take away. And that's why the show is a success, because you get to see that when you have a dream, it really cannot be held down. And it inspires the audience. Because these boys, you're right, these kids have been up against everything you can imagine. And society, you know, doing drag in a male-dominated culture is like an act of treason, really. So, um, they're my heroes. Are you doing a, a British show over here, or...? 
Well, we are, well, True TV has bought all the seasons of RuPaul's yes. Drag Race, and then maybe it'll be the springboard for a, a UK version of Drag Race. Fingers oh, crossed. I see. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Because yeah. 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 there are a lot of great queens here. Yeah, yeah. You know, who are, you know, who are different from American queens. I mean, the yes. queens here are, you know, more nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Yes. Yes, which You've is great. You've got the sexier names. Um, you're in America, you like, you know, Juju B and yes. Jinx Monsoon, Raven, Raven they're all yeah. like that, yeah. yeah. Over here, we're like, you know, Patio Doors. <laughs> Sudoku, Val Qaeda. <laughs> <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> which is fine, but... Yeah, we're, we're, we're not as gla I don't think we're as glamorous as the American one. Well, but that's but the English sense of humor, and I grew up watching Monty Python. It's you know it's more biting. It likes to take the piss out of things, and yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's why a UK version of Drag Race would be so brilliant. Yeah. It'd be brilliant. If you haven't seen it yet, you are in for a treat. This is just a taste of what you can expect on the amazing RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> oh my God. Great. It's so great. It's really good. Drag queens now, when they want, when they start out, they want to look like Beyonce and Britney. Who did you want to look like when you started out? Who you, was your? You know, I wasn't that kind of queen. I started. You know, I grew up watching Monty Python's Flying Circus, so my thing was, you know, smeared lipstick and combat boots, and I was, you know, all of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And as time went on, and I needed to make money, I, I, I changed my look to, to be like a streetwalker or a soul train dancer, yeah. you know, and that was really hot. Mm. But um, I never <laughs> wanted to look like any, I was influenced by, you know, Cher and David Bowie and Diana Ross. Yeah. But um, I was, uh, you know, aspired to be myself. Yeah. You know, that's why my name, my real name is, is RuPaul, you know. Really? Yeah, I don't advise that for people. I, you, if you're going to get into show business, change your name yeah. because you don't want it on public records no, and, no, and no. police records and things like that. And has anyone ever come on to you, mistaking you for a genuine for a woman? Has anyone gone, wait a minute, what's this? <laughs> Actually, they haven't, you know, because, I, you know, I'm 6'4 in stocking feet. In drag, you know, I wear heels oh, this tall yes, and the hair is... Yes. No one would ever think that. And, um, I mean, if they did, they'd need to get out more often. Because <laughs> <honestly. laughs> isn't it funny when... Uh, my friend came over and I said, you haven't seen RuPaul's Drag Race. So we binge watch again, because I just watch him over and over again. And he started having a few Stellas, pints of Stellas. And then, by, like third one in, he started fancying the women. You know, well, the, the like... The queens? Yeah, Latrice oh. Royale. Latrice Royale? Yeah, chunky but funky. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. He started fancying her. That's fine. You know, I, my years of, be, of doing drag, I realized that there's one common thing with men, and, and is that men will stick it in anything. <laughs> Yeah, they yeah. will say whatever they, you know, they'll yeah. say other things when they're, you know, with, with their family and friends. Yeah. But when they're alone, any man, I'm talking all men, oh, man. will do, will stick it in anything. I swear to God. I swear it's true. Oh, they're my. laughing, but yeah, and, uh, they're nervously laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the truth is that that's what men are. I'm yeah. a man, you're a man, yeah. and you know that's true, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah, 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 hell yeah. Yeah, yeah stick it in anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's have some beers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> and I've got to ask, why didn't you come in drag today? You know, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. No, no. Well, you know, the funny thing about me doing drag, it, you know what, honestly, you would get a different person. The energy, you would treat me differently. You couldn't get this sort of one on one. Okay. It sort of, my drag persona sort of sucks the air out of the room. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's larger than life. And, uh, you know, it would make you probably feel uncomfortable, darling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It would. It would. But, but look, it's, it's funny you say that because um, you must. If you have Paul O'Grady over here, you had this fantastic drag queen called Lily Savage, and then he started like not doing Lily so much and being himself. And he actually said he would go to parties and there would be people 
oh, you've come as Paul, you're not as Lily. Yeah. Do, do you get people a bit disappointed when they see you rock up? Well, you know... <laughs> Usually, the only time people ever see me in drag anymore is if I'm on television. But I gotta say, years ago, before I got famous, it was so much fun. But once I got famous, it became a real job, yes. you know? Has there been times when, like, you've said, you know, you oh, I, I could have done with being a woman here, or could have done with being a man here? Because the first time I ever went in a women's toilet, yeah. Uh huh. You women are so lucky. You go in there, there's carpet, potpourri, butterflies, birds, <laughs> <laughs> chandeliers. You go in a men's toilet, needle shit, <laughs> dog shit, bodies, and it. <laughs> Women, I mean, you, you, you must have been the first thing. Oh, my God, look at the women. Aren't the women's toilet always nicer? You know, I gotta tell you, I always just hold it in. I don't go to the ladies' room. I don't go to any room. You do? Oh. No, I just hold it in. Really? Yeah. If I'm in drag, I just hold it in. I, because, uh, you know, I'm actually... Because of all the tucking. All the tucking, yes. So I suppose it takes forever. Oh, so. darling. <laughs> I've got a, quite a meaty tuck, if you, you know. <laughs> the finagling, you know, between me down there. Oh, yes. Is it a bit like those balloon puppets you get at kids' parties? <laughs> <laughs> now, have you ever talked? Have no, you ever I, talked? I want to know, where does it go? <laughs> Listen, OK. Yeah. I um, was hoping it would come up, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. OK. So yeah. where would you tuck? Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, oh. that's good, yeah. Oh. Get it in there, yes. Oh, I'm so... Uh, uh -huh. You see? Yeah. That, 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 see, that's my... Yeah. See, yeah. My, mine's a little less yellow than that. Oh, OK. Well, <laughs> it goes just like this. You take yeah, this... Yeah, yeah. You take that like that. Yeah. And then you come around the back oh, like this. Oh, hello. It was going let on. Me, oh, let me... Let me get... Let yeah. me see. Oh, yeah, OK. Here's, okay. here's the knickers. I have to come yeah. around the back okay, underneath. Okay. See, that's yeah. me right there. Yeah. And you, you yank it back oh. like that. Okay. Oh, I see. Yes. It Where's that gone? It, <laughs> It's gone south of the border. 999, nine, nine, I need an ambulance. <laughs> That's amazing. It is amazing. And what you do, once you get uh, it... Oh. <laughs> once you get it back there, yeah. you yank the tucking panties up yeah. so it, it keeps. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, how was that for that you? Was, oh, that's ripened. Yes, it was. <laughs> Well, thank you for... I've always wondered. It's for there for everyone. Yeah. And, you know, some people have a, 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 a larger problem than most. Yeah. Um, uh, and that's what we call a meaty, a meaty tuck. Meaty tuck. Yes. Okay. Yes. Meaty tuck. Okay. Yeah, but it's, it's fabulous. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> oh, but I'm... <laughs> so, RuPaul, it's on True TV. Yes. When, when is it again? It's uh, Monday nights and Tuesday nights at... 10, and there's a new episode every Monday and Tuesday night. Okay, fantastic. Yes. Give it up for the wonderful. Thank you. Ruth Look at this. Look at, look at all this. <laughs> oh, I just got blown a kiss by a lad. Oh, really? <laughs> Knock it this way, love. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. I, share, I hope it's okay that I shared it. It's good. It's fine. It's good. Yeah. Oh, thanks, love. Oh, yeah. It's the 90s. Hey, your hair down. Right, what can I get you to drink, my love? What are you having? Well, I heard that you love a cider. Who told you that? <laughs> I've got white ace, white cider, because I thought you loved it. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, all yeah. right. It's really tasty. Yeah, tell me more about this, because this is not something I'm really that familiar with. Oh, well, like, it's full of good. It's like 99p. It's dead cheap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> going all out. <laughs> yeah, and it is so lovely, and it's a delicacy here in Britain. That's not true, is it? No, it's not true. <laughs> there you go. Well, this is going to be so lovely. Yeah, we're having a good time now. Well, so lovely to see you. How long's it been? I don't mind this at all. This is great. It's really fruity. You're such it? a good host. Thank you. I always get the best alcohol in, don't I, for my guests? Yeah. Now, last time we were here, we were chatting about David Dickinson's real deal. Give me some more. So you've just <laughs> <laughs> so you've just bought a new flat 
in New York. Yes. Have you been filling it with antiques? That's what I want to know. Yeah, absolutely. Filling yeah. it with just antiques and cats. <laughs> and just, it's just a sexy single life for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And is it true Sir Ian McKellen used to have the place before you? Yes, it is. Oh, my God. Yeah, there he is. Just, okay, so basically, um, I found this apartment online and was looking at all these different places in New York, and I had my realtor reach out to this kind of, uh, the, the realtor that represented this apartment, and we kept trying to, to get a showing and to see it. Yeah. And they kept putting us off or not responding, and so, <laughs> as I do, we just ob obsessively called, and we're just like, please, can I see it, can I see it, can I see it, can I see it, please, can I see it? <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, so, eventually, that, that worked, and I got a showing to see it. Yeah. And so, I'm kind of like walking in, I'm like, what is the deal? And I fall in love with the place immediately, and then I walk into the kitchen, and Gandalf is sitting at the kitchen oh. counter <laughs> in his pajamas. Oh, my God. It was magnificent. Yeah. I was like, I'm buying it. Does he come with it? Yeah. <laughs> so what happened now? So when you get post, you, like, redirect it to Middle Earth. Yes. Yes, you go, like, you know, one, two, three, the Shire, <laughs> Middle Earth, Hobbit Land World. <laughs> Well, well, I heard you'd moved in, and I know you like antiques, so I got you a present. No way. I so did. You are a I joy. Know. Look at this, and it is a proper antique. I was at a car boot sale in Hounslow Heath. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw this, and I thought, Taylor's coming on the show, and she lo look at that. It's actually attached to my hand. Okay. You're hurting me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Oh, oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Because you love cats. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is just beautiful. I don't want any money for it, Taylor. Put your money away. <laughs> Thing I've oh, ever seen. Thank you so much. Oh. I've missed you so much, and this proves that you truly understand me. Yes, yes, look. And, um, and that is White Ace. That's drinking White Ace as well. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. Should I put it somewhere safe? Definitely somewhere no one else can take it. No, no. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> it's great, though, isn't it? I... Do you really, genuinely, do you really like that? I want, a, I want it to be next to me so that, I, that no one can take it. Yeah, what Taylor wants, Taylor gets. There you go. <laughs> look at that. Beautiful. Oh, look at his little face, Taylor. Yeah. yeah. And it follows you around the room like Mona Lisa. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean that's, that's an added benefit that I didn't think about. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Wherever you are in your flat, these cats are looking at you. <laughs> so what have you been up to? Well, just ducking and diving, wheeling and dealing. You know what I'm like. Just hustling. Hustling, you Every know. Every day. Doing a stand-up tour next year. You'll have to come along. <gasps> I will. Because last time you were on, you just released Red, yeah? Yes. Now, you're back with a new album, 1989. 1989. 1989. Yes. Because normally when a guest comes on, I get, like, a DVD or the CD, but I haven't, I haven't been allowed to have one. You're keeping it all under wraps, well, aren't you? Why won't you let me have one? Because it's not out yet. It yeah. comes out October 27th. But is it true you're being really secretive about it because you're worried about it getting, like... What's so the I word? Don't even want, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even... I don't trust technology. I don't want to talk about leaks. It freaks me out. I'll have a meltdown on the show. Really? Yes. You, I'm not going to steer... I mean, this, I'm not even No, I'm not see... thinking about you, no. but what about stuff that's recording us all the time? Oh! Yeah. Because you know Cause... what? This isn't even a chat show. There's not even any film in those cameras. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually a meth lab, That's like Breaking what... Bad. That's what I'm talking about. Behind there, everyone's making crystal meth. Yeah. Uh, this is just a front. Mm -hmm. No one's even watching this. Yeah. You can go like this. No, no, one, no one cares. <laughs> I mean, what do you think of your CD? I mean, I would never burn your CD and sell it. I mean, listen, DVDs, now I would. <laughs> I mean, I would. They're my thing. I've got Police Academy 14, if anyone wants it. <laughs> An orifice and a gentleman. I've got <laughs> The Wolf of Old Compton Street. They're all knockoffs, but I would never do it to your CD. That's good to know. That, it, that it stops at DVDs. Now, you said the album's influenced by 80s music, yeah? What sort of stuff? Like, 
uh, like late 80s, like uh, when Madonna put out Like a Prayer. Oh, right, uh, yeah, we love that album, yeah. Like um, what Peter Gabriel was doing, like Fine Young Cannibals, She Drives Me Crazy. Yeah, Those yeah. are my favorite songs from the late yeah. 80s. But you know, because I was there, Taylor, and it sort of pisses me off and goes, oh, I love the 80s. Oh my God, yeah, no, gender bending, electric, yeah. It was actually Jive Bunny. <laughs> now, you don't know Jive Bunny. But he was number one for fucking four years, by the way. <laughs> Do you remember it? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, everybody. C -c Come on, everybody. <laughs> this is it. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. This is the shit we had to listen to. <laughs> I was so the accent was, oh yeah, I love Duran Duran. No, it was Jive Bunny. <laughs> and no one knew who Jive Bunny was. He was like Banksy. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you launched your album, yeah, by throwing a party for some of your fans at your house. Are five you... parties. Five, at five <laughs> houses. Shit, are you mad? Yes. I basically, before I finished the album, I realized it was my favorite album I had ever done and I was so excited that I thought I want to play this for fans first I want them to hear it first I want it to be in a really intimate situation I want it to be kind of like a hangout um, and so basically I just thought I want to call them the secret sessions and so what we ended up doing was we contacted all these fans that I've been kind of stalking on the internet so they were contacted they came to my house and I don't think they realized the first group didn't realize where they were yeah I was hiding in the bedroom yeah. Spying on them. <laughs> um, you like that man in Saw? Do you like games? <laughs> <laughs> now, a few of your fans got a bit carried away. I mean, can I just look at this photo here? Where's that hand going? I mean, come on. That hand is, that hand is right here. That's fine. But his little pinky's going a little bit up. No, it was mm. like this. That's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm very sure. Well, I'm very prudish, you see, so I find that disgusting. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. And then look at this one. Who's photobombing you? That's my dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my dad is, is, um, his life passion is to photobomb. It's oh, all he, really? he dreams of it. It's all he wants to do. <laughs> He's constantly just leaping yeah. into photos. <laughs> People on their vacations. Yeah. No, yes. that's embarrassing. He likes to follow around my band at our stadium shows so that if fans ask for pictures with the band, he can... Oh, my God. Like, yeah, it's wild. How were your parents with all these people in the house? Were they, like, touching, going around with a bin bag? Oh, are you kidding? It's their dream. Really? They love that? This is their dream. Oh, okay. Okay. They get so excited about getting to go to things like this. My mom's like, we get to arrange a party. We're rearranging the furniture. We're going to put, put pillows on the floor. <laughs> and my dad gets to wander around talking to people, telling stories about when I was a kid. Oh, no, no one wants to people, that. To people who are, like, loving hearing it. And they're lapping it up all these. Yes, oh, yeah. He, so they're as happy as can be. Are they looking after your cats? Yes, they are. Oh, that's good, good. It's, it, it's kind of good, but they've only been able to cat sit for me one time before. That was the first time I asked them to. And um, something a little weird happened. No, what happened? Um, they got a professional photo shoot done of my cat. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yes. Don't tell me as your dad photobombed that as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to take a break there, my love. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Don't go anywhere, because after the break, me and Taylor will be shaking it off all over the studio. See you in part four. <laughs> Welcome back to part four. Look who's still here. It's only Taylor Blooming Swift. <laughs> Before the break, we're talking about your new album, 1989. You're performing the first single, Shake It Off, Shake It Off. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you know what? The song is a great F you to the haters, isn't it? But, like, a joyful one. Yeah. And I wanted to write a song that would make people n not feel victimised when they sang it. No. Like, I didn't want it to f come from a place of, like, why are you doing this to me? I feel so defeated and sad. Why are you making me feel this way? I wanted to be like, OK, you're irritated that, that I'm just being myself. You're going to talk about me because I'm being myself. You're going to make things up about me for being myself. I'm just going to be myself more. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah good for you. 
And the sad thing is, they want you to be dejected and feel sad and miserable because they're not happy in themselves, are they, really? Oh, oh my well, God, yeah. look at me with the white ace. I'm like saying, hey, and well, another I... thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, suck him, Taylor. We'll go out later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You give me a call. <laughs> yeah. Um, they give a call inside themselves. Yeah, yeah. And they fill it with time yeah, to boy. sing that we're ugly. Yeah. Tell me about it. They don't mean it that they say, like, I know. they're hate their lives. Yeah, Taylor. They hate their sons. They're losers. <laughs> it's like having a play, doing a play with you on it. Let's have a look at it. It's like having a play. It's a play. The glasses were so genius. Yeah, I know, I know. I thought you it all by myself. I know. You just I'm on fire today. It. I am. Uh, Fire. Let's have a look at a clip. This is Taylor in the brilliant. Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> That's a good song. We absolutely love it. Thank you. Now, one of the, that finger dance. Show me how you do that okay, finger dance. Okay, so it's called finger tutting, and the guy who finger tutting. Who, yeah, finger tutting. Mm. And it's the guy who who is in the video with me. His name is Peanut, and he's amazing at the finger tutting. Mm. You just go. You go. This. 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 This, this, oh, that's beautiful. I'm and then I try to do it fast, and I'm like, yeah. I'm not saying dirty things to deaf people, am I? Oh, <laughs> 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 no, I didn't know. I'm not doing all this, and everyone's like, I'm disgusting. <laughs> Turn it over. He's being filthy. <laughs> <laughs> Because I want to do body popping, because I can do that one bit. You know where you touch your body and you go back like that? <laughs> Ooh. But do you know what? I love that ribbon dancing one. Thank you, that's you... my passion. I, I, you, do, you don't know this, but I was actually the 1989 Northampton Ribbon Dancing Champion. Don't lie about things like no, that. No, I was. I've got a photo and everything. I was. <gasps> oh, I know. I've got it here. <laughs> Look, you see, and do you know what? Whenever I look back at that 1989, I can still remember. I, remember, was, I can still remember. You remember your starting pose is like this. Lovely. Are we doing this? <laughs> we need music. Listen, I won. I was champion. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I... <laughs> Talk to them. You've ruined everything now. I know, I know. <laughs> well, listen, do you know what? Sometimes, whenever I hear this music, yeah, I can still <clears> remember <throat> the routine, Taylor, honestly. I'm not as fit as you. <laughs> just, just fake it. <laughs> now, you're going to perform Shake It Off for us now. After a quick breather. <laughs> yeah. and you go and get ready. I'm going to go and lie down. You feel free to run out <laughs> and perform behind me if you want. You really want me to perform. You do not really want me to come up. I mean, I, I, mean, I kind of do, but I, I understand if you're too tired. I'm going to get... I will get tasered if I approach you with one of these as you're singing. <laughs> <laughs> I will let you do what you do so well. You perform. Shake it off.
sorry. It's very nice set as well, by the way. I'm still not finding my way around. I mean, do you want to have a little guided tour? Shall yeah, I love a guided Let's have a, You've got some lamps. You chopped down a few trees and all. Well, you know what? They're actually modelled on uh, Kim Kardashian's ankles when she was pregnant. <laughs> She's a family friend. Oh, she'll, right. she'll be laughing about this at home. <laughs> so, are we going to play Twister? Or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's lovely. It's yeah. like grand designs in here, isn't it? It's yeah, like... it is. It's like but a cheap it version. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine. I pay for this set out of my own money. <laughs> oh, that's why then. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, that's what it is. <laughs> right, let me get you some drinks. What would you like, love? Oh, what have you got? Well, what haven't I got? I've got martini, I've got girl. Oh. Women only drink. I don't know what that means. Why? Mostly. Yeah, Why? Do you Women it? only? I know. I'll give it a go. Yeah. It might be made of oestrogen or something. <laughs> you don't know these days. Well, what do you want, love? I've got some mad dog. Do you want some mad dog? Well, have you got any rabid dog? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I want rabid mental dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Can I last up? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to piss up that log. <laughs> What's that iron brew? Iron brew? Iron brew, yeah. That's nice. Thank oh, you very much indeed. Yeah. Thanks, Alan. So what have you two been doing over the over the summer? I was picking their nose and spitting a lot, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Did you well, go I'm... on holiday or anything? Um, I, I went. I went uh, with the kids to Egypt before it was, you know, on you, fire. It weren't you that kicked it all off, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with me. No. So so that was nice. It was very nice. Oh, actually. lovely. Yes, yes, yes. yes you know where I went? I went on safari. I took my mum on safari. Where about? Windsor I know it sounds from. gay, but I... <laughs> she always wanted to go. And, of course, when we get to the, the place, it's called a lodge, isn't it, where you're there, the they lodge. obviously thought that me and my mum were husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> Rose petals all over. A double room? Yeah, double, double bed. room. King-size bed? Yeah, me and me mum. <laughs> Christine oh. spelled out in roses. <laughs> Did your mum like it? Yeah, we ended up making love. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't. No, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't. Are you sure? No. Well, maybe <laughs> just a kick on a couple. <laughs> now, you two are doing a new play called Barking in Essex. Don't spoil it for me, as I haven't seen it yet. Tell us, what's it about? Yeah, it's, it's about this dis dysfunctional family, isn't it? Living it's, in Essex. Yeah. You should come and see it. It's, uh, it's, it's really funny and it's very serious. It's got a bit of pathos in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Because you haven't done a play for ages, have you? And no. So no. what was it about this one that tickled your fancy? Well, I, uh, it sounds a bit... <laughs> <laughs> sounds a bit crap, but I, I sort of read... I get, I get a lot of plays uh, yeah. sent to me. Mm. Uh, and this do you one, love? Yes, I do. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this one was really, fu really funny, and I couldn't sort of put it down. You said it's a cross between Ab Fab and The Sopranos. Yeah. Now, yeah. I can't imagine Joanna Lumley whacking big pussy. <laughs> I can. <laughs> it is very, very funny. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it, is, it brilliant. is brilliant. Well, you've shot a, a trailer for the play, so let's have I a did. quick look. This is a little taste of Lee and Keeley embarking in Essex. <laughs> Really? You yeah. both had proper Essex makeovers, haven't you? And Keely, can I just say? Yes. How can I say it nicely? You make a lovely slag. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I bet even Miley Cyrus is looking at that thinking she's gone too far. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> at stage school, you had yes. elocution lessons. I did. To make you sound posh. Well. Well, yes, you do sound, yeah, yeah. posher than him, anyway. <laughs> I mean, have you had to unlearn all that um, to I did sound a film, sexy? I did a film with um, Jason Statham and I had to... And I played his wife and so I, I played sort of co Cockney. Yeah, yeah. Co Cockney. Cockney. <laughs> and, um, so, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's sort of odd going the other way cos you're... You know, when you've been taught how to speak, in a certain way, yeah, really. Yeah, Although, yeah. obviously, I don't think about that when I speak. I just, I, I just speak how I speak. But to then do something, you know... I mean, I, I'm not from Essex, so I never had an Essex um, accent in the beginning. But I had a London accent. 
Um, so, yeah, no. That's the trouble with elocution that. lessons. I really wish I'd never had them. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because <laughs> I really mess with my voice, you know. Yeah. What did you sound like before? Well, not like a pensioner. Right. <laughs> I read you had to speak with a pencil in your mouth to sound posh. Yes, yeah, certain vowel, you know, A E I O is oh. helpful. <laughs> Can you show me? No, Can you sorry. show me? Have you, have you got a pencil or anything? Oh, yeah, hang on. Oh, no, no, sorry. <laughs> um, have you got one? Oh, I, I haven't I've got, got a, a pencil. twiglet. Can you show me with a twiglet? It's not really big enough, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you do it. Oh. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> now get it in there because I've got so this. many gaps between my <laughs> teeth. This could be. Okay, say A E I O. A E I O U. No, no, you have to stop at the O. Why do you stop at the O? Because <clears throat> I'm going to stick this in there. Oh, when say that. <laughs> oh it's like hungry hippos. <laughs> A E I O. No. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'll say oh. Oh, oh now you oh. say oh. Yeah. So it's, you know, no. I don't what? need twiglets no more. <laughs> Lee, I love your makeover. With the old shell suit and the Lizzie Duke sovereign ring. I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's sort of my character, really. Um, <laughs> in play. No, thank you. But all I'm saying is, I worry, how sweaty are you going to get? You get sweaty anyway, well, but you're yeah. wearing a shell suit. You're going to be under these theatre lights. They're going to have to dip you into Lynx Africa before you go on <laughs> <laughs> I mean, aren't you worried about how sweaty you're going to get? No, no, because no? I'm wearing guttering. <laughs> I'm not worried about that because under there I'm wearing a bag and everything. <laughs> so it collects it all. We 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 take it out of town after the show's over <laughs> and dumped in a place where no one can find it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a minute. There you go. I've just filled the bag up for you. <laughs> oh, What's the matter? What's the matter? You're basically saying you're wearing a tenor lady for sweat. I am. That's exactly what I'm wearing. You That's not a bad song. idea. Hey, wait a minute. You've got a point. <laughs> Here, we got Dragon's Den later. <gasps> you have? Yeah, come back and say, hi, it's a tenor lady for sweat. <laughs> oh, 50% uh, of your business. I think a G-string version. <laughs> G-string? Will you be wearing Piss G -string? catcher. <laughs> no way. You dragged this show to an old, <laughs> old time. Listen, road, I've, dragged saying it, something. I've dragged it up, mate. <laughs> I had to geese her up. Geese her up? Yeah, you know, like you did with the shell suit and the Lizzie Duke. Oh, yeah. For a photo shoot the other week, did you see? <laughs> Which That's one are you? Great. I... <laughs> you? You look very butch there, I've got thank to say. Thank you, thank you. You, you would last five minutes round our way, but there we are. <laughs> I could be your understudy if you get ill, couldn't you I? You could. Can you be all like hard then? Yeah, all right. What's well, so like? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a twiglet. That was the twiglet on the wrong way. <laughs> you slag, you slag. That's it. <laughs> That's it. It's very good, that oh, is. Oh, you slag. Oh, so I'm so turning doing myself something on. Something for me, yeah. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a dirty phone call. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a ring later. Yeah, give, give me your. <laughs> Emily. Yeah. Hello, Lee. You yeah. slag. <laughs> oh, I've, got me, uh, I've got me piss catching G string on. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> while you're while you're doing the play, you're writing your new stand-up tour, Monsters. Monsters. Yeah. And you don't half pick these big venues. And uh, I heard that's why you called it Monsters, because you play these monsters of a venue, but also the monsters in your head mm. that you say talk to you. Yes. <laughs> You're saying something now, actually. <laughs> it's not kill, is it? <laughs> uh, it is. Hold on. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's... You know, we, uh, you know what it's yeah, like. When you're, you're, yeah. I can't stop working. So yeah. you just... I have to sort of... And that's why I call it Monsters. I sort of worry about things at night and yeah. think about stuff and do a bit of music and, and I... Yeah, that's why I call him Monsters. Well, I'm glad Sounds you've got crap. those monsters in your head. Yes. Because we love him, don't we? Yeah. Thank you so much. Good luck with the play. When's it start Thank again? You. Next Friday? 
We we'll start previews next Friday. Oh, yes. wonderful! <laughs> 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 Give it up for Keely Horse and Liam. Well done. Well done.